Well, I would give you a choice. Continue watching me and face the truth or just live a life of lie and like, it's okay. I don't want to hear it, Sal. Your call. Your first card is difficult. Very, very challenging. Ten of Swords. Okay, Aqua and whoever has stayed. Welcome to my channel. I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day for your career finances and your relationship. This is your horoscope. I do sidereal Vedic astrology here. I don't do Western, which means like if you're going to try to correct my planets, don't because we don't follow the same astrology. And I teach people how to use different kinds of techniques uh, using gemstones and crystals. And there's free classes in the description box below if you would like. And with all the requests that we've gotten, the extended reading are back. Yes, for now at least. So it's going to be in the comments or in the description. You will see it. It would say Aquarius Extended, where I dive deeper and answer more of your questions. Let's discuss the pain and suffering that you're going through, especially if you are a moon in Aquarius. It's not easy. Okay. Here, of course, Ascendant Moon sign in the chart with Tarot, however you see fit. Tarot is not astrology. It does not look into the degrees. I just match, meaning, and I just match, I do two kinds of divination at the same time. It's not easy being an Aquarian. And you, like what I mentioned, you have a karma. Consider, like, it's a karmic curse, we'll call it, or a curse known as the Scorpio and the Aqua. The curse of the Aqua and the Scorpio. What does that mean? Because you are co-ruled by Rahu and Scorpio is co-ruled by K2. Okay, so um, they don't rule any uh, sign, but it is known. You are ruled by Saturn and Saturn is in the first house. Um, a bit, uh, this is a um, uh, Maraka, uh, no, not Maraka, MKS. So Saturn in the first is not auspicious if it's in the birth chart. Okay, Saturn drowns in the first house because Sun is the one that gains directional strength in the first house. If we have Sun in the first house, you are a king. That's what we all want to be in a way, you know. But a king serves others. But with the Saturn in the first house, you are forced to serve and you don't want to serve. So it becomes difficult, it becomes challenging, it drowns. Sun, of course, gives us good health. But Sun in the first, uh, Saturn in the Aquarius, it's good health for you, of course. It is your um, Lagna Lord. However, if it's, we're looking at it from the Bava, which is the house, it is not a good placement for Saturn. It is not. It will be challenging. Okay? The Ten of Swords here is showing how you have been challenged. Probably your entire life. Probably like this past six months. But what's good is everything must come to an end, even challenges. So this is an ending. Let's see what's about to begin. Beginning. I like that. Because the fool is the beginning in the major arcana. Well, exactly the start of the, the tarot. You will have to do major arcana and then the suit cards. You see? And I said beginning. Freedom. Liberation. You're not dying. There's nobody dying here with the Ten of Swords. No, there's, we don't predict that. But this is your new spiritual enlightenment. Now, a lot of people, of course, who's out there doesn't like that. Ah, spirit, why light of man? Ah. <laughs> By the end of the day, we're all spirits. So either you connect with it while you're still alive, <laughs> or you can connect it when you're dead. It's up to you, your choice. But for people who's having a human experience, but uh, that they know that they are uh, spirits with having a human experience, they understand the dynamics of it, that this is only temporary. All are suffering and pain. We all die. All the sickness will be not over. You won't feel cough anymore or cold or whatever once we die. <laughs> so it's good, isn't it? Because you have a new beginning here. Mm. So some people look at the death as a curse. Death is liberation. <laughs> we have this body that ages. Our soul does not. Mm. You got a seven of wands and a six of wands. You ended a relationship. They block you or you block them. They're non-committal. They're seeing other people. Plain and easy. Six of wands, right? Seven of Wands, you says like, no, I'm not going to be part of this. Set me free with a full card. Your person, quite attractive, good looking, travel, you know, Six of Wands. Is a lot. They like getting attention, of course, is what I'm seeing. And it's going to be challenging for you, of course, right? With Saturn the first, of course, it's also going to aspect your seventh house. So it brings 
relationship still. It will bring relationship. Now, with the seven of wands here, I'm seeing that you're really having issues setting boundaries, but you know that it is what is, uh, it is needed right now. Mercury, ruler of your fifth house, I mentioned in your previous, previous reading, is in retrograde. When a planet is in retrograde, there's a lot of emphasis. What is a fifth house for you? That's your dating, not just for you, for everyone. So fifth house shows how you date. If it's mercurial uh, rule, which is the fifth house, eh, you know, like it's a prince. Mercury is the prince. So they act immature. So it's hard to have a relationship when the relationship energy-wise is immature. And there's always two sides of the story, whoever you date. You'd always be finding out that they are lying to you because you have here the Ten of Swords. Can we admit that 2023 was a year to forget? All of the struggles with money, with debts, and bills just keeps piling up. But the new year is here and it's an opportunity for you to turn things around. Start manifesting fortune, wealth, and abundance with this money magnet bracelet. Take back control of your finances today. Visit our website, eatreadlove.me, order yours. So it's not easy to be an Aquarian, isn't it? Yes. Mm. Very difficult. But you are getting out of it, Emperor. Mm, taking back your power. I have gone through so many challenges, okay? Uh, you know, and not everyone knows, of course, but depending where you're at, uh, which is astrocartography, I think it's called, you know, I am an Aquarian. So I know what the struggle of the Aquarian, yes. So I have put together the best of the best that I can offer for you, okay, in a stack right here, and it comes with a free. Okay, either a Queen of Fortune or a Queen of Romance. You can choose, okay, from all our stack. This is 50% off. It comes with a free money magnet charm. Together with it, we ship free in the U.S. for this collection. And at the same time, we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. A free class is also in the description box below if you want to learn how to manifest. Double PO is what my favorite is. I have it in my house. I wear it every time. I'm just not wearing it right now because I was wearing a watch and I, and I didn't want to let go of the watch today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now the watch is, I can take, let me teach you. So if you are a person who values time, okay, you will have, um, how do you call this, a clear understanding of uh, uh, how to get your dreams. So it's like this. Okay, so if you value, again, your time, you will understand because Saturn rules you. Let me teach you how to manifest, okay? Because when I wear my PL, of course, it's wonderful, right? But I cannot wear it with my watch, you know, and I cannot wear my watch here. Uh, so I have, I have issues with watch, meaning I cannot put it together, okay? But for me, I need to stay on schedule today. I have a very, very, very tight schedule because it's coming the end of the year. So I need to be disciplined and focused with my time, you know. So I wear my timepiece, yes. So when I'm, all, when I'm all set, you know, of course, I'm wearing my Piao, yes. So, but right now I need my watch, okay, because I'm going to have to be like, okay, next. Okay. Saturn rules time, which is Kala, and that's how much you can uh, manifest your dreams if you're always consistent and on time. Natural sixth house is Mercury, which is Virgo, and only through consistency you can get through your um, dreams. Okay, so this is what it's good for. Okay, so if you're just learning to manifest. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I digress. Your person here is waiting for you, but you guys haven't been in touch. Okay, you have taken back your power. Uh, I feel like you have no contact with them right now because they rejected you. Nine of Swords is here, which means that like, your person is feeling paranoid right now. Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Let me see. You have the... Four of Pentacles here with the Page of Wands. Let me see. I'm seeing right now, um, your person is acting aloof and weird. Okay. They feel uncomfortable because of... There's some sort of guilt, yes, with your person because the, the Six of Wands is here. But let me, let me ask then. Why are they not reaching out? Because you have a Five of Pentacles. No contact. Let me see that. And if they're going to break their silence, what's their message towards you? Now, for others who are in separation, because you have a Ten of Swords, you will have here the card of hope, which is like, oh, is there a second chance that's going to manifest in your connection? Oh, wow. And I said second chance. Oh, it's the Four of Wands. Oh, we'll see. It feels like you're having issues also letting go. Oh, yeah. See? Two of Cups. 
the extended is in the comments, by the way. It's going to say Afar and extended. And our website, eatreadlove.me. Is your person seeing other people? Okay. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, so to find out more, link in the comments in the description box. I'll dive deeper in extended reading. See you there. Hold on, hold on. You're here already. And I have a free class for manifestation of love and money. And if you are serious, there's a free class in the description box below. Join me and learn more on how to manifest with a real gold pee out.